Hey guys, Fuldrake here. So, as I've said uh, two weeks ago, uh, Xbox Scarlet is on its way. And uh, I'm gonna tell you the specs about this console. Uh, it is the big difference between this generation and upcoming generation. So, what can we expect? So, I'm gonna tell you right now, uh, on the, there's the main article about this. And there's a few of them actually, tons of them. But Microsoft's next generation console is arriving late next year, holiday season, 2020. So, listen to this. So, at my point, point of view, uh, Xbox One and Xbox One X, so Xbox One X, uh, it can hold uh, at least 10 years of its life cycle. 10 years for that console. Xbox One X is... Uh, Brand new console actually. It came out, I think, uh, maybe two years ago. So maybe two years ago and keep that in mind that uh, they're already uh, thinking about the new console and this console will be out next year. It's amazing how they're so quickly limited already. So they have the Xbox One X with all new specs, all new architecture, 16 gigs of GDDR5, correct me if I'm wrong. It's incredible, so all that power, and it's still, it's still ain't enough for the ninth gen of the consoles. They need that ninth gen. And we will see why they need it. You know why? I know why. Because they're already limited. They can't do anything on that Xbox One X. I told you that. I told you that on the previous uh, videos, uh, my opinion on these new consoles. So much, uh, there's actually, it's not a major jump, it's the minor jumps. Always is a minor jump. So from these generations, uh, 9th gen, 10th gen, we're gonna see uh, how far will they go with that. But, let's back on this, let's back, let's back on track with these uh, statements right here. After years of speculation, Microsoft finally announced the Xbox Project Scarlet during its big E3 2019 keynote conference in June of this year. The next-gen Xbox promises to deliver native 4K games at 60 frames per second. So that's a big deal. A large solid-state drive to ensure almost no load times and ray tracing on consoles. We only have a few details on Microsoft's next-generation hardware so far. Even the moniker Project uh, moniker moniker Project Scarlet is a code name for now, but we don't know it's coming, when it's coming, and a handful of the features and specs we can expect when it lands. Faster and more graphically advanced than its predecessor. So the predecessor uh, they mean by that Xbox One X even and Xbox One S and the basic Xbox One that came out uh, in 2013, in the November. Xbox Scarlet promises to be the most powerful games console in the world by the time it launches late in 2020, even more so than the PS5, which is due to hit shelves around the same time. If that tagline sounds familiar, it's because Microsoft said the same thing about the Xbox One X. A little over two years ago, and is now dub doubling down with its next-gen console. Uh, that said, Microsoft is claiming that Xbox Scarlet is up to four times as powerful as the Xbox One X, and offer a number of perform performance upgrades. So, the console itself, the new console, will provide uh, a number of performance upgrades. But it can be done on, for some reason, it can be done on the Xbox One X. And on the 8th gen console. It's not over yet, people. It's not over yet. I'm done with that. I'm done with that statement that a PS4, Xbox One uh, life cycle is over. It's not even over. Uh, this year is, uh, is going to be a 6th uh, uh, anniversary of the, those both consoles. And I think the performance upgrade uh, is going to happen. It's going to happen uh, sooner or later. The new update is going to come out and I already installed new update file like, a, I think, almost two, month, uh, two months ago. Uh, there was some update. I uh, actually upgraded uh, the software 
but man. Uh, performance upgrades in specs of the Xbox Scarlet, it's gonna improve over the years. That's not possible. You build a console, you have what you have. You build Xbox One X, it's limited. It's limited already. Why? Because the new the, the technology, I, I just got to the point where I realized, uh, guys, that technology is growing so fast that consoles can't keep up with it. Consoles can keep up, keep up. So either build a, build a strong console or don't build anything. People won't buy this console, I'm telling you that. People uh, who already uh, own Xbox One and Xbox One S, it's gonna upgrade to the Xbox One X and that Xbox One X is actually around $250 or $300. Uh, $300. And uh, not mentioning the PS5, uh, so I'm concerned about a PS5 because this console is gonna be like a three or four times more powerful than a PS4. That's nothing. That's nothing to compare power between PS3 and PS4. PS4 was the big jump. I mean, don't get me wrong. PS2 to PS3. So it was around a 40 times more powerful than a PS2 uh, hardware specs. And the PS4 beat it by the, I, I think, no, it was a less. I, actually, it was less. Uh, 10 times more powerful than a PS3. And they already are uh, limited. But we are see from the exclusive titles, they're not so limited anymore. Because why would they, uh, why would they make uh, The Last of Us 2, Part 2? And uh, Tsushima? And a bunch of these uh, new ex uh, exclusive titles. Why would they uh, do it for the PS4 if uh, they're limited? So actually, they're lying, people. They're lying. It's all lies. This is a cash grab. This is a primary example of the cash grab. They want you to buy the new stuff. They want you to buy new stuff, upgrade yourself, leave your actually brand new console almost. Xbox One X is uh, only two years uh, old. Only two years old hardware. It is new build hardware and they actually want you with this console to leave it behind. So forget about the Xbox One X. It's so weak console, you can't do anything uh, on that console. You can't even play games or some, some shit, I don't know. Uh, they actually, Microsoft, put, uh, put their effort to make, uh, console, to make a console uh, different than a Sony's console, PS4. So all these applications, software, uh, you can watch like four or five different programs at the same time. I mean, who does that? Either you watch watching a movie, either you're watching a movie, either you're playing a game. So, really simple. But there continues. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you what they're saying about this. For us, the console is vital and central to our experience. I'm talking a little bit weird right now. I'm gonna tell you why, because I'm learning French, and I'm gonna update you on that one too. So I started to use uh, words almost like two, two. So it, it's, I have that phonetic accent from French. I got that phonetic accent uh, a few months ago. Actually, I got it from the very beginning. I didn't realize uh, it really suits me. It really, it really, it, it suits my uh, voice. So I'm gonna update you on that. I'm learning French. And excuse me if I'm uh, not sounding not not sounding very uh, fluid in English. For PC gamers eyeing up to next-gen consoles, Project Scarlet is looking to be an incredibly powerful home gaming machine with custom build components from AMD and SSD uh, drive uh, drive at its heart, allowing allowing for innovative game development techniques. It's unlikely. Oh, I need to lower this blend a little bit. It's getting darker and darker here. Okay, excuse me about that. So, where was I? Uh, yeah, SSD drive at its heart, allowing for innovative game development techniques. It's unlikely to rival some of the top end PCs when it launches next year. The PS5 certainly won't, but it should offer a good price to performance radio. Okay, 
I think that's enough for now, or maybe we're gonna talk about it. yeah. Now it's gone. Uh, now it. Uh, this is an important part. Using custom design processor from AMD, making use of Zen 2. I don't know. That's the family of the graphics cards. Obviously, I think so. And Navy architecture. Xbox Project Scarlet will be four times more powerful than the Xbox One X. Who cares? Xbox One X is already a next-gen console. We all know that. It's a cash grab. It'll be possible of running games at 120 uh, 20 hertz frame rates at potential at potential 8K resolutions. Who plays 8K, people? For uh, I I'm gonna tell you straight. I'm not for the 4K. It really hurts for your eyes. It's not. It's not really. It's good for you too, but for games, for games especially. Your eyes will uh, get hurt, and it's it's so sharp that I can't watch that. No thanks. I'm gonna st stick with 1080p, 60 frames per second. Even I'm I'm for that. 1080p, 60 frames per second. Above that, I'm not going. An SSD will come as standard as with the PS5, which will give an option of using its storage system as a virtual RAM, as well as lifting load time performance by a factor of 40 percent. So. That, so that console, 9 gen console will be all about loading times, so always loading times, and uh, they're gonna try to fix that, to, to lower your waiting, in these parts. So, please buy Xbox Scarlet. You will not be able. You will not wait anymore for those loading times to pass. You're gonna able to play the game instantly. There is no loading times in uh, in this generation of consoles. And wait for the PS6 or for the Xbox uh, Xbox Scarlet. What's, what's after that? Uh, let's say Xbox 2. Xbox 2 is gonna be another thing. Why? Because technology grows, really. And uh, I actually realized that there's always some nuances they're putting and really small nuances. But they can do it on the Xbox One X. Why can't you do it on a PS4, Xbox One Basics console? So, lower those loading times. These consoles have the 8 gigs of RAM, GDDR5. What are we talking about here? And still, they're having loading times. Are you kidding me, guy? So, uh, that led developers stream in a far more detailed worlds around a player. So, they will go they're gonna use GDDR6. Why GDDR6? You already have a speed. Why, uh, why going forward like that? I mean, GDDR5, it's not so old. I mean, it's around a... It's a six years old. I mean, but... My PS4 Slim is so fast. I can't, I can't keep up with that speed. I mean, uh, it's, I'm instantly in the game. I'm in YouTube in a second. I don't see the problem. Why would they need to upgrade? They're already kind of limited with the GDDR5. I mean... Uh, if that's the case, GDDR6 will be become limited for the three, four years. Because technology grows, as I've said, technology grows so fast that they're not gonna be able to keep up with the new stuffs. Always three years, some new thing. New AMD, new CPU, new rates, new resolution, you name it. It's incredible uh, how... Uh, they got to that point where people buy a new console, they're already limited for, for uh, three, four years. And what then? Nothing. You need to buy new stuff. If you want to play this game, play, uh, buy Xbox Scarlet for uh, $500. I'm, uh, I actually think this, so maybe I am assuming that this console, uh, Scarlet, is going to be around a $500 cost. So minimum of, of that, maybe maybe even four hundred dollars, but I'm gonna be curious and say four hundred fifty dollars because there's no way that console is gonna be cheap. Because if it's a real next gen console, keep it that way, give it a expensive cost. End of story. Indeed, Microsoft has confirmed that all your cur current Xbox One accessories will work with the Xbox Project Scarlet including existing controllers and headsets, but we doubt that also includes the ill-fated Kinect motion tracker. Okay, 
So it got to that point where uh, actually you can transfer your data, transfer your games to your new console. And that's a great thing. But as I've said numerous times, and I'm going to say it hundred times, and I'm going to say it thousand times because uh, this to me it's unnecessary. People who bought uh, people who bought already Xbox One X, you can be you can be happy with it. I mean, uh, you can be you're now you're now in peace with it with the next road of the I think ten years. I'm going to say if you have an Xbox One X. Don't even think about to buy this new console. I mean, who am I to tell you that? But it's unnecessary to buy new consoles, which is only four times more powerful. It's a different thing, dude. If this if this console is twenty times more powerful than Xbox One X, I will say hell yeah, buy it. Why not? But why buy uh, why buy a new console? You already bought a brand new system. There's nothing new on the market except that, and except the PS4 Pro in uh, in terms of Sony product. But Xbox One X is is completely new hardware, and now uh, you're telling me developers are limited already. They can't build any exclusive anymore on the Xbox One X. Is that possible? You saw Red Dead Redemption 2. I actually I made a review uh, and trashing that game. Actually, it's a great game. It's a great game. I playing it uh, time to time. But now I'm on the Uncharted collection. I'm planning to pass all four Uncharted's and be done with it, and decide where I'm going to play. So uh, I just, I rest from, I had a rest from the video game uh, for around two or three weeks. Around two or three weeks uh, break from the video games. And uh, I gave it a shot to Red Dead Redemption 2 again. And actually, I, my opinion changed. And that's okay, people. In that video, I was bashing it. But now, this, this game is beautiful. This game is really great. I know Red Dead Redemption 1 has a better story. But now I'm in the game, I actually, I'm actually passing more and more of these missions and learning, uh, learning more about the Arthur Morgan and about the old crew. So the old gang, it's really immersive experience. It's immersive experience for gamer. You have so many different options uh, to communicate with the people, antagonize them, greet them. Uh, in these shops, there's numerous shops throughout the game you're gonna meet. It's incredible. And I... Uh, I'm in Saint Denis state. There's a bunch of crocodiles and alligators right there, and uh, I uh, I killed some some of them. And my horse actually ran off when uh, when he's near the crocodile or alligator, he ran off. He just scared himself. It's a really realistic AI system. It's incredible. It is a complex. I'm gonna stay with that. Uh, what I what I've said last time. It is a complicated uh, system. I wish they uh, made it simple. But hey, it's on a PS4 and Xbox One. It needs to be complicated. There's so many new options. It needs to stay that way. So, my opinion changed that on that game. That game is masterpiece. And who knows, maybe I'm gonna pass it, maybe not. But I'm just playing free roam time to time. And we're gonna see. And that's basically it, guys. Uh, those are the specs, and uh, let's see what they are saying about a CPU speed. The base clock speed of the flute, I don't know these terms, SOC is just 1.6 GHz, which is pretty low these days with a maximum boost of 3.2 GHz. Um, this console is gonna use different AMD Jaguar SOC which is powered by the Xbox One. So, uh, that's basically it, guys. New memory, uh, 16 gigs, GDDR6 is gonna be the case. CPU and GPU, similar, similar way as the Xbox One X. As I've said, the only difference will be GDDR6 speed, more speed for the RAM, and the new, some kind of AMD Navy type, type 10 GPU. I don't know what is that. So basically that's it guys. Uh, these are the specs for the Xbox uh, Scarlet. We're gonna see for the next year or so. Is there gonna be any change? But uh, till the next time, catch you later and take care.